cheesily in today's episode, guys. You don't so, have to say anything. So bear with that. It's always somebody still trying to be in the lead. Hello, everyone. My name is L. Harris, and this is Shot Harris. And um, today is our sixth, I think, sixth episode of Keeping It Light. And today we are going to talk about she's just not that into you, bro. Or she, he's just not that into you, sis. But our goal today is to teach you how to get people to be interested in you. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> I'll start with you, mm -hmm. my co-host. Um, <laughs> how do you get a woman to be interested in you? Okay. Um, I can only speak for myself. So I feel like everybody has their own skill set, which we had that conversation before, of how you actually attract the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. um, for we'll go into that. Huh? We're going to go into that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was always about kind of being elusive, which I feel like I already have that personality since I don't really do too much talking. So always come off as, I feel like, I, this is my personal opinion on myself. I feel like I used to come off very mysterious. People didn't really know me or know what I was thinking or I would joke, but I really wouldn't go super in depth. But then once, you know, a lady got to know me, I was the type that was crack jokes, but I was also like pushing you towards whatever you say you want to do. So that worked for me because my type or the type that I normally track is women who are have some type of aspiration or. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. It's just that you say aspiration. Ass. So, so, sorry. so childish. <laughs> they usually have ass too. But they don't. That's why it's so funny. Yeah, they do. <laughs> But yeah, um, so they have some type of goal that they're trying to achieve, and then I usually am the one to kind of hold people accountable or push somebody toward that goal. Okay. And did you call them ladies? Because I heard you say lady when you were speaking. That's a very old word. Oh, a little lady friend. Shout out to Cap. <laughs> he says that a lot. So ladies that you talk to? Yeah, little ladies. Do you call them like, yeah, this is my lady? A little mom. Oh my God, I think you've actually called me your lady before. I feel like I Gross. Did. You're my lady. I'm not your lady. Get your you old hands lady. off of me. <laughs> I feel like when you say you got an old lady that comes like you got to give her like $40 there a couple of days. You and do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're my old lady. I need $40. All right, we can work that out. Okay. So, um, I think... All right, so but you had that mystique, so that's what kind of attracted them to you. Yeah. Okay. So, how did you... Like, what else did you do to attract them, though? That was it. That was it? That's Just all I mistake? had. That was all I had. And so most people have different methods. Mm -hmm. I feel like most guys have the same method that they usually attract women. Mm -hmm. But that was just mine. So like if I was in a club, I couldn't really do too much because I talk low. And mm -hmm. so you can't really hear me. So I'm up here like, yo. And you're like all in the ear. Yeah, you yeah, probably yeah. got hot beer breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ain't really work out. So, but like house parties or like house functions mm -hmm. was like my playground like i could do like a lot i can i can talk to my boys and have a good time joking and then just kind of include a woman into a conversation and then before you know it, i'm talking to her like in the corner pretty much the same way i do you so um and then to kind of go back to you know talking to your friends so it's not like you got to spend all this time or all this energy towards somebody but you know you let somebody know that you're interested by just having quick little conversations or including them in conversations mm -hmm. and then you just kind of back away so um, we were talking about this earlier and I was saying, um, for me, what I would do is... Yeah, what, what is your way of attracting fellas? What I would do is I would attract men mentally first. And so, because generally when you look at someone, you generally are attracted to them physically. So most men are going to be attracted to your physical appearance. So LBP, hello. BP. BB, before butt. You know, oh, I just, before you got a butt. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just had like, and I didn't have surgery or anything. Went to Dr. Make, Miami. <laughs> make that clear. <laughs> Dr. Deep Creek. <laughs> but before then, like, you know, I was just like, really skinny girl, mm -hmm. a cute girl, you know. How was you getting guys like then? Excuse me? I'm just trying to figure it out. Because of the way I'm about to tell you right now. Go ahead. So it was mentally. So for me, 
I knew how to attract the man mentally first. Most women spend so much time trying to earn their way into a man's heart. And I did the complete opposite because I knew that if I was able to attract a man mentally and I can engage his mind, that I know that he was always thinking about me. So once you are in his mind, it doesn't matter where he is, things are going to start making him think about you. So you're a constant thought. And then once, not thought, but thought. And then once you... Sometimes it can be a thought. You don't want to be a constant thought. But if you're a constant thought in his mind, then it eventually leads to him wanting to spend more time with you. That's the name of this episode, Constant Thought. But continue. I'm just putting out there for editing notes. Okay. <laughs> so eventually it leads to him wanting to spend more time with you. And then that transforms into eventually leading your way into his heart. And sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. For me, it, during those times, it was bad. It was like a challenge for me. To get a man, get in his head. So get his you heart the pursuer? Mm, pretty much. I was kind of mind offing people. I could play like this this soft, like, oh, you know, I'm humble L. I'm just, you know, the home girl. And that's how you get it. Is him. that when you used to wear fitted soda? Pre fitted, about a year or two before fitted, but oh, okay. during the fitted time too. The fitted air. Yeah. The <laughs> fitted L. The cap air. <laughs> F E. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I so that was my goal. Like I would find a way to impress like mentally okay. and engage them. Because that's pretty much what I did with you. Um Not really. A little bit. Our first coming our first date was four hours. You put that on you? I kind of put that on my shoulders, actually. How? Oh, I could left at any moment. You could have left, but I engaged. Like, I was the one that... Yeah, you were engaged. But I was the one that was engaging. Were you? Yeah. First dates are always on the But block. I don't even say the first date, our first interaction, though. I think you brung your, your game of trying to figure out what's interesting. And I brung in my, like, oh, okay. Whatever you said, I, I was able to match it. Like, I was able to be enthralled in a conversation with you. And I didn't, I wasn't like um, submissive in the conversation. Like I was able to go toe to toe with you. Oh yeah. yeah. And I think that's, that's the importance. Cause some people just, some women will, I've seen women be in a conversation with the man and he's literally having a full on conversation and she's like, <laughs> it's all of that. And that's trash. Oh my God. That is so trash. So that just shows you have no personality that shows that you're just all, if I'm a dude and I see a girl just all <laughs> everything is like real cute and laughing bag and bag she's s smashed and dashed smashed and dashed I'm just saying bless yours bless you sweetie but yeah that is my um that, that was my way mentally and then mentally leads to the heart and not giving a lot of attention I think we talked about that before I feel like I feel like that goes for anybody. Like mm -hmm. you have to show that you show that you are interested, but not pressed. Mm -hmm. Like you got to be like engaging in the person, um, but you can't be thirsty. Where like you're hitting this person up like all day, every day. Like have some cooth about yourself. Have something going on where you're not just waiting on this person to hit you up every day. Like that goes for guys and you know women alike. Like have something going on. Yeah. Because nobody wants a I feel like people say they want somebody that's readily available for them, but you also want somebody that you got to hunt a little bit. Yeah. You want somebody that she feels like she's not really worried about you. So that makes you kind of go a little bit harder. Like, you know, instead of just saying good morning, yeah, instead of just saying good morning, it makes you say like, all right, well, since I'm not probably not going to talk to you for another week, let's go ahead and just schedule something right now. A schedule a date to go out Friday or something like that. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, if you're just readily available, then I can just go morning and what you're doing to death. But if I know that, you know, if I hit you up today, I might not hear from you for Friday or Saturday. And I really want to get your attention. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the extra pressure to be like, all right, <laughs> good morning. What's, what's your plans for Friday? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know a spot. Let's go out and eat, go have some drinks or something like that. Instead of it, it's just like, all right, good morning. And then it's y'all just have a conversation about bullshit. And I think that goes a long way. Like when you because one of the biggest things about women is we never know what we want to eat. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. But if you're able to hit up a woman, it's like, hey, this Friday we're going to yada yada yada. Wear this, what you know, this is a dress code or whatever it is. That's like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, especially if it's not Ruth Chris. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about this, like when I was planning your birthday. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I heard somebody talk about this on a podcast. Like, is it a dope idea for a guy to, like, say you're going on the first date with somebody, mm-hmm. like buy you something to wear? Is that like a player move not or is that reaching? Date, no. If you don't know me like that, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, okay. Unless you work in Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth Avenue when you are. <laughs> but what if I right, say? But then if you're a stylist, you probably. No, don't say that. Mm. That's that's very that's a generalization. Oh, okay. But because for your birthday, I told you like I right, I need you to wear something nice, but I gave you some money to actually get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I wonder like if. Say for our first date, we had mm-hmm. a couple like very long conversations before our date, um, and I felt. Oh, sl- uh, thank mm-hmm. you, and I felt something there. But what if I would have sent you like, all right, cash out wasn't a thing back then. But what if I like cash out with you like hundred dollars, like, hey, for Friday, go pick you out something nice. Oh, to return the cash out to you. And why is that? Because I'm not. I'm. I don't need it. Because I would have felt like you were doing it for a show. Mm-hmm. Now this has been like our fifth or sixth date or something. It would have been different. But in the beginning. Nah. Mm, okay. That's, that's too flashy for me. Okay. So I know you're leading this conversation, but. Yeah, and I got nine minutes. So. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So, what are like signs that for women that guys aren't. that are just trying to hit? That guys are just trying to hit? Mm. Hmm. Smash and dash, as you say. Hmm. Fucking buck. Send me a picture. Um, what you wearing right now? Very sexual stuff. Very sexual things. Sliding in the DMs. Always only commenting on things that look sexy. And then, like, even if I post something, you don't respond to my comments. You always respond in the DMs. That shows me that you don't have any genuine public interest in me. Everything is private. So um, that would tell me. Or what you doing tonight? If you only hit me up at, like, sex hours the ungodly hour, then I don't want to talk to you. Mm, okay. So, um, th- those are the signs. What about with women? Um, how to know if women aren't interested or if they... How do you know if women are, are only want you for sex? Have you ever had that issue? I never had like a, somebody that just wanted me for sex. That was usually like, hey, we're going to have sex, but also want to go on dates. Huh. Okay. I'm a relationship type person, so. And people can see that when they see you. Probably, uh, probably yeah. smelling my pheromones. Yeah. It's like, you're the guy next door. I don't know about guy next door, but. You are. I'm probably like a, a settled down guy. So I, that's the same type of person, the same person. Mm-hmm. I feel like once again, you're trying to call me. He's not a toolbox. <laughs> Aries, really? The guy next door is not a toolbox. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe you're not the guy next door. I just thought about some guys next door. Yeah. Um, hey, 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 hey. Yo, hey. you be so disrespectful. Just sit, 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 sit. All right, so attraction. How do you know that a woman is attracted to you? We were talking about this earlier, and um, this book that I'm reading is, you know, it's this lady who, you know, her fiance works with someone and the lady that he works with, she runs the PR for his company and the lady in PR is like in love with her, with her fiance. And I mean, it's to the point where they go to events, she, she coordinates her outfit with him and she's a worker, not the fiance. So we had this whole conversation of like knowing when someone's attracted to you. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you know when someone, when a woman is attracted to you? And then how does a woman know how can a woman pick up that you are actually attracted to them? Um, how do I know if a woman's attracted to me? Um, I feel like at this stage in my life, the only thing I can really figure out is if someone kind of praises my abilities a lot. 
Mm -hmm. Like, yo, you're the greatest, you know, I would mm -hmm. love to do something with you or stuff like that. And I feel like, eh, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. Not weird, but. You know that someone's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, um, that's the only way now that I can really figure it out. Before, when I was uh, just a, a civilian, you know, um, I think it's like light flirting, like, you know, compliments. When women compliment, that's really them going out of their way to say something. So you can really tell by that. Um, what if it's somebody just smells good? But that if it's continuous compliment. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you smell good. You know, I, I like this outfit you got on. Like, just like, because a woman is. So if a guy walk in the room, you know how like women walk in the room and they'll see their friend and like, okay, girl, I see your outfit. All right, you smelling good. You got your hair done. So but, if I said all that to a man, you automatically assume that I'm attracted to you. If it was continuous. In one in one segment. Not in one. If you just like, oh, it depends on how you say it to you. Like, oh, you smell good. And you just go on about your business or whatever. But if you like. But if I'm like, okay, King, I see you. Mm -hmm. I'm not attracted. I'm just hyping. I'm just gassing you up because you might look nice. But I feel like you would only do that with somebody that they know that y'all are friends, that y'all are cool. I don't think you okay. would do that with a stranger. Just because you know that things can be taken out of context. Yeah. So that's why I feel like women only do that when it's somebody that they know, that they feel safe around. Like somebody know that, you know, like, you know, they're not, they know that you're not trying to get at them. Mm -hmm. um, or it's somebody that you really are trying to shoot your shot at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because otherwise you'll feel like, Women feel like all guys are trying to get at them, so you kind of monitor what you say around people. Um, I would say that. Sit, sit, sit. Got sit three minutes. I'm sit. gonna make this quick. Um, I would say that sit. for women to know when someone's attracted to you, I feel like that there are no restrictions on communication. Like I feel like guys who will talk to you all the time, it doesn't matter the day or hour. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they just want to talk to you all day long. Um, guys who will publicly acknowledge you, guys who will take pictures of you and post you on their Instagram, mm -hmm. um, or their social media. And, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I would say now as a married woman, I know when guys are attracting me by two ways. Um, if someone like hits me up in my deals, like, you know, I know you married. It's no disrespect. No, I just want to say disrespect. you look, absolutely. I just want to say you look nice or whatever. Or if I'm out and a man has sex with me with his eyes and that pisses me off a lot. Mm. So. Okay. And I also feel like you could tell if a man likes you by the type of conversation that he's having with. If he really sounds like he gives a shit about your life, then... He probably does. Yeah, and remembers things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remembers things. I yeah, think yeah. that that's a big sign. Um, yeah, because otherwise, if you think about it, men usually play the numbers game where you got to to find one or three women that you really like. You got to shoot your shot at multiples. Yeah. So you don't really got time to do an in-depth engagement of every woman that you come across. Mm -hmm. So you throw out a little filler just to see, you know, what the bait is. And then you're like, all right, well. I know I can smash her, or I know this might be something I, you know, I need to contemplate building something deeper with. I think for me, like, one of the things I feel like women can do, this is one of my player moves that I pulled on Rashad. Um, like we were saying, being able to show interest in someone and then, like, have, so, like, having pillow talk and remembering those key things that a person says and then using those things to okay, sure. in acts of service. So, like, one time we were having pillow talk and Rashad told me about how when he was younger, him and his mom and dad used to go to this restaurant in Smithfield. And so, um, months later, his birthday came around. And so I arranged for his parents, his mom and dad. Um, his mom invited some extra family, but I was okay. But um, I arranged for everyone to come and meet at this restaurant in Smithfield. And it was a surprise, a surprise to him. So like being able to do something like that just shows someone like, I hear you. And then I'm also following up on like a moment that's so special to you. 
something they'll always remember. Remember, mental is what I was saying earlier. Whatever. You can't tell me that wasn't a smooth. It was. Look. It was. All right. Last thing before we go. Mm -hmm. Can you give the people key things to do to make sure? So for women, what can they do to not run men away? Because some women think that men are interested in them and men, they don't really be interested. Mm -hmm. So what is the key thing that they can look out for or they can avoid to do to scare off a man? Um, hmm, good question. Being thirsty. And what's thirsty? Like. Calling, texting too much. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's probably like the number one thing is being thirsty. Mm -hmm. um, being like super like argumentative. Mm -hmm. Because I don't even like know if I like you yet. Why are we talking about this and having a full on argument? Mm -hmm. um, I think everything else is kind of specific to me. Okay. Yeah. I think those are the two main things I could think of off the top of my head. Um, popping up places. Mm. Yeah, popping mm. up places. Mm, that's good. That's good. Like you saw me on Instagram at a party. And he's like, you know what? Let me slide through there real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Or at a bar or something, and you know that I usually go there after work and you just show up. Right. Please don't do that. Um, yeah. Okay. And I would say to guys, I think that the world tells men not to be emotional, and I don't want to say that, but I don't, just don't be draining. Men to be draining? Yes. We are living in a time period where sometimes men need to pull their skirt down. And y'all- Are you talking about like in the first couple of interactions? Yeah. Oh. And that could just be specific to me, I don't know. But I feel like sometimes men can be too like, all their frustrations, whatever they're going through is like thrown on you. Like, dude, let me, Cause then that lets me know, like, I need to get away. Cause you got too much baggage. You got too many things going on. Like, give mm -hmm. me some mystique, you know? Yeah. Like, just, just do that. Let's just, you know, and match my energy. Yeah. I would say, um, in the beginning, and um, smell good, and look good, and um, yeah, that's that's all I got. Okay. Any last words that you have? Um. Ladies, don't be worrisome. And just have some cooth. That's the main thing I want you ladies to take away from this. Have some cooth about yourself. Don't be thirsty. But don't act like you're super hard to get. Like, it's a, it's a fine line between that. Like, mm -hmm. do the things with your friends. Yeah, do the things with your friends. Have activities. So a guy will actually need to schedule some time to, like, be with you. Like, he needs to, like, really get on your calendly books or something like that and mm -hmm. actually book some time if you're free monday through friday any hour of the day like that's way too accessible for a guy that you just met absolutely and be sexy but not overly sexy yeah, yeah. leave something to the imagination if you got a big ass you don't have to wear a tight skirt when you go see him or your tightest fitting jeans he gonna see the ass give something leave something to the imagination if you give me everything up front there's nothing left there's nothing left. So I would say that. And with guys, uh, I don't really know. I'm not really good at this. I'm not really good at, at guys. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I've never been really good at that. <laughs> but, okay. So thank you guys for tuning in. Join us next week where we talk about mama boys and daddy's girls. Mm -hmm. I am Elle Harris. I'm Shad Harris. My co-host. Yeah. And uh, next week I'll be back leading this conversation, which I pretty much did today. All right, wrap it up. So I'm gonna let him have his shine because I feel like this is where he thrives. 
Wrap it up. So I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them shine. I'm not going to kill them. Ladies don't kill men when they, you know, when yeah. they're trying to thrive. So have a wonderful Wednesday. Be blessed. Love and light. Love and light. That's a different church. <laughs>